kicking off for the Tigers. Pedro Suarez, the sophomore from Hialeah, Florida, a little guy who has a potent foot. And here we go. Deep into the end zone, a few yards back goes Robert Jones, and he downs it, and Alabama will take over first and 10 from the 20. There's the linebacker, Sendoya Soares, Walkup, and Swan. Rovell Rose Swan, unusual first name, Hollingsworth back to pass, third and eight. The screen to Kevin Turner, and he's knocked out of bounds, short of the first down. On comes Tank Williamson, the Alabama punter. 12-12 on the clock. And it looks like they had Alabama jumping. Graves a free down, and he completes the pass. Completes the pass to Marcus Carter. There's Mike Archer. He is on the hot seat, a record of 26-16-1. You wouldn't think so in four years. But at LSU, where football is king, he's on the hot seat. Another completed pass. Knocked out of bounds, a gain of about eight. Nifty pass from Saul Graves. First and 10. Or no, second and two. I'm sorry. And flags down everywhere as the handoff goes up the middle. Again, that is Jermaine Williams. Harvey Williams, sensational as a freshman and even more sensational as a sophomore till he suffered a terrible knee injury. Back to pass, rolling out his Graves, looking for a receiver and cannot find one, but he does eventually out of bounds and the reception. Scott Ray, first and 10 from the 16, 9.22 on the clock. The handoff to Harvey Williams, who busts outside, gets free for a first down, or at least close to it, knocked out of bounds by McMillan. First and, down, first and five from the five. Again, Alabama's defense has not allowed a touchdown in 12 quarters. Graves calls the signals and hands off to Williams, who fumbles the football, and Alabama recovers. Second and nine from the 11, a gain of one. They gave Anderson one on that play. Hollingsworth with a call. Turner and blocking for Chris Anderson, who again gets hit hard by LSU. Who but he falls who? forward for five or six yards. Who hit who? Third and two. The handoff up the middle, and it looks like Alabama has a first down. Their first of the afternoon. Just as he came off his break, we didn't catch it there, but he had stumbled just a little bit, thus a step short. Second and 10, the handoff to Chris Anderson, who breaks it to the outside. And gets brought down a few yards short of the first down. Third and eight. The freshman Luke back to pass. And he finds Harvey Williams over the middle. First down, LSU. Again, great protection from the LSU offensive line. First and 10 from the 49. Harvey Williams pitch left. And he gets close to another first down. Second and 10 on the 34. Luke rolls out. He's going to run it. And decides just to go down without sustaining a blow. Luke calling an audible. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. And he's back to pass. Looks like they caught Alabama in a blitz. First down LSU. The completed pass to Wesley Jacob. Third and seven. You can hear the crowd. They want the streak to continue. Harvey Williams stopped. Gain of maybe two. Pedro, Su Pedro Suarez attempts the field goal, and it's good. LSU takes the lead, 3-0, 59 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Gary, the little shuttle pass to Robert Jones, who gets up and close to a first down. He does get the first down. Gary gets sacked, brought down for a loss. Once again, nobody getting open downfield. And back at quarterback is Saul Graves. Mike Archer makes another switch, and Graves goes down. Byron Holbrook's the sack. All right, check it replay. out, folks. Is it a fumble? Is it a pass? You call it. Oh, my. Well, the fans here in Tuscaloosa didn't like it, whatever it was. The only person he could have possibly thrown to was number 69, Andy Martin, his offensive guard. Graves again has trouble and chalk up another sack for the tied sack exchange. Eric Curry gets his sixth of the year. 
Byron Holbrook's really clogged up things in the middle, too, and took Blake Miller and two other linemen out of the picture, which opened things up. Chris Anderson deep for the punt. And a good kick sends Anderson all the way back to the 24-yard line. Trying to get to his wall, and he does. Breaking it free, cutting back. All the way down to the 47-yard line, Chris Anderson. Uh, George Wilson, just a tremendous success story. Uh, as everyone knows, he uh, shot off a part of his foot, uh, and people never thought he'd play football again. But here he is blocking now for Robert Jones as the pitch goes to George's side. Yes. And Robert gets the first down. Florida punishing Georgia in Jacksonville, 38 to 7. Anderson, the pitch right. And it looks like he's going to go in for the touchdown. Yes, indeed. Alabama has a lead, 6 to 3, on the run by Chris Anderson of 30 yards. Let's give the credit on that run to Trent Patterson and Terrell Chapman. Look at them out in front. Look at the blocks they put on the LSU defenders. The best thing about those blocks, they didn't leave their feet. Third and three from the 22. Loop back to pass. And he sacks George Thornton. Bump. Bumps him to the turf. Martin Houston lining up behind Hollingsworth. Blitz. And it's a first down. Steve Buskey, who always seems to catch at least one pass every game, gets the first down. Just then, seems to be struggling a little bit. Here comes Lassick again. And he's hammered down at the 44. Looks like he'll be just short of the first down. Fourth and one. Robert Jones falls forward. He's got it. Second and 10. Lamont. Lamont Russell gets a first down for Alabama. Good shot of Gary Hollingsworth. Third and three from the 23, 41 seconds to go in the first half. The pitch to Robert Jones. Robert trying to fake the defender with some sort of movement there with the ball, but he's pushed out of bounds. A nice defensive play from Anthony Marshall, number 14. He'll kick it from the 35, so make it a 45-yard field goal for Philip Doyle. And he boots it. Did he hook it a little left? He sure did. He hooked it left, pulled it. So that's his second miss from that range this year. Hey, he kicked one at Tennessee, though. <laughs> There's the handoff up the middle. LSU stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They will uh, be happy to go into the locker room, trailing just 7-3. to three. Odell Beckham on the carry there. I think this is clearly a case, Doug, where both teams might be happy with uh, what's going on at halftime here, at least going into the bench or going into the locker room. Speaking of the kickers again, uh, Van Tiffen on the field today as they honored the uh, team of the decade for the University of Alabama. And... Van was the last All-American kicker for the Tide, and this year they're touting Philip Doyle in that same role as the All-American kicker. And a lot of those Alabama fans, when they announced uh, Van Tiffin's name, I think they remembered that kick he made at Birmingham against Auburn because I think he got one of the largest ovations of any of the players that were introduced. The last time, uh, 1988, these two teams met here. The Tigers won 19-18. to Philip Doyle had a chance to win it on that 52-yard oh, yes. field goal, just barely missed. In 86, it was 14 to 10, uh, 84, 16, 14. So I think we're in store for another close ball game. The deep kick taken on the two by Wayne Williams, who brings it up and breaks it loose. And he's finally tackled from behind by Rip Mitchell. That was Odell Beckham who broke free. Alabama with that 3-4 uh, defense, three down linemen. The two linebackers, the pitch left going to Harvey Williams. Again, strong pursuit, but Williams found a hole and gets the first down. McMillan knocks him out. Third and eight from the 44. Great. Plenty of time. Nobody open. Bring on the punting team for LSU. Another strong stand for the tie D. Those first five minutes in the second half establish the tempo for the rest of the half. Uh, chances are you're going to win the game. Maybe a future Crimson Tider watching Kevin Turner hammer forward 
on first and ten, a gain of six. Second and three, Kevin gains seven. Another handoff, Chris Anderson has the first down. Third and seven from the 30. Passing down, Hollingsworth back. The screen. Close it away. On comes Tank Williamson. He has been a solid punter. Tank He's gotten better and better. Look at that boom. Boy, wow. I like that. All the way down inside the 10. Alabama will get to it. Then tackle the runner on the two-yard line. Third and five from the seven, 8.55 on the clock. Loop has Harvey Williams, who breaks free for the first down. Nice play, up to the 23. Chad Loop having a decent afternoon. He's thrown some safe passes, but they've been on target. Third and six. He's brought down another sack for Eric Curry. Turner and Anderson. This is Chris, the pitch back to Gary. Wide open interception by Wayne Williams. I said wide open because running down the left sideline by himself, Lorenzo Cole didn't have a man within 20 yards of him, and Gene is telling him. Maybe that's why he's playing quarterback, huh, Scott? Oh, without a doubt. Intercepted almost. Broke it up. Wasn't smart on that. Nearly threw it into coverage. 37 years old, became the head coach four years ago. The youngest uh, coach in Division I football. Big third down, Doug. Martin Houston pulls forward, and it looks like he got it. He gets it twice. It looked like he had it the first time. No whistle, and he got it again. I think he lost it the second time, though. Turner in motion. Jones, first down. The pitch to Robert Jones, who has been a workhorse. And he darts his way up two yards shy of the first down. Third and two, Alabama four out of 11 on third down conversions. They'd like to bring that number up, and it looks like they did. Junior Sewell falls forward for what appears to be a tied first down. It's hard to complain about those numbers. Pitch right. Robert Jones cuts back. It's close, second and seven. 24 seconds to go, third period. Kevin Turner fights his way up to the five. We're more concerned about an Alabama touchdown. And Martin Houston gets stopped short of the first down. I don't believe he got it. Philip Doyle missed his first field goal of the day, trying a 22-yarder, and it is good. Mike Archer goes to his third man in the rotation, relief pitcher Chris Booth, a 6'1", 185-pound junior from Greenwell Springs, Louisiana, his first game back since uh, breaking his ankle back in the spring game. I don't know about this one. I think you're inviting a turnover if you get down to a second or third and long. Interesting, a man on the hot seat, Mike Archer, is gambling here. The riverboat gambler Mike Archer goes to an untested quarterback, a man who has not played all season. His first pass of the year, interception. Scott Hunter, you read it perfectly. Spencer Hammond with a big turnover. Alabama scores the touchdown. Uh oh, what a shoot. You see Harvey Williams, he catches the seam and makes a nice return. New quarterback, Chad Luke, back in the game on a fumble. Fumble, he falls on it. The pass to Kevin Turner. First down, Alabama. Third and 12, the screen. Nobody is there. Oh, that was a dangerous, dangerous pass to win incomplete. Tear went up, nothing happening on the field, so I'm just guessing that uh, a lot of the people may be listening to the Auburn game. Flag down. Tank Williamson was hit after he punted the ball. It will be roughing the kicker in Alabama. We'll get a first down. Definitely roughing the kicker. The field totally engulfed in shadows now. 
Junior Sewell up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles. A gain of eight for Junior Sewell. A combination of Alabama playing well and Auburn losing has this crowd in a frenzy. And Chris Anderson breaks it for a touchdown. Alabama, Chris Anderson, 46 yards. Second and five. Junior Sewell, Derek Lassick takes the pitch. Sewell with the blocker. Derek hard running. Charlie Dare in the ball game now. Toby Shields. I remember a particular game, Auburn against Alabama in 67. Good gracious. And Kenny Staber went around right in. With Gary looking to pass. <laughs> Lamont Russell was wide open. Well, I don't think that the Auburn football team is taking on Pat Dye's personality. I really don't think it's done that. Possibly he had so many athletes who are so good that he might have just uh, let up on them or whatever he will, but not gotten his personality onto that football team. It's just incredible in this modern age of football that a defense can keep another team's offense out of the end zone. Oh, my. The big lineman gets a chance to run, and big George Thornton left a part of Saul Graves into the turf. Saul got shaken up, uh, understandably so. That's 300 pounds of full force coming right down on top of him. Griffith, another punt. Chris will let that one bounce. And LSU downs it about the eight yard line. And we should mention the center, a young man who, who never gets any publicity, Toby Shields, Irving Spikes, gets brought down. I think we'll see maybe some of the uh, front line guys, but I, I bet he puts some of the second group in there and gives them a chance to play here late in the game. Uh-oh. Breaking the tray. Number 27, Vincent Fuller, and he's brought down. Third and 10 from the 15, 129 the clock. Luke will be back to pass, and you better believe they'll try to get on fourth if they don't make it here. End zone. Right They just got to be looking back and wondering what if, what if. You look at those first three ball games and uh, the game over at Georgia, the come from behind loss. Of, take that away or take the block punt away against Florida and Alabama's right at the top of the SEC standing because they've played as a team one guy may not have a good game one week uh, but they're pulling together and uh, win lose or draw you just got to respect that and a lot of the credit has to go to the Alabama coaching staff for keeping everybody together here in those first three weeks well that's Alabama football Craig Harris gets his first carry of his career at the University of Alabama, a sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida. As the clock ticks down, the crowd celebrates. wonder what's going through Mark, Mike Archer's mind right now. Uh, a man on a hot seat down in Baton Rouge. The final 24 to 3 and for the first time since he arrived in Tuscaloosa, Gene Stallings can look back and say I'm over 500. Five victories, four defeats.